notice that when you come into a DI room, everything's structured and, and you know, every minute of their learning is accounted for, which is really beneficial because you, you, know, you make the most of that time that you have with the students and you know that every single minute you have them in the room, you've got them engaged and you've got them learning. You get that full sense of urgency when you walk into a DI room that you're really pushing these students for mastery, you're really trying to get the most out of the students while you have them at school. Starting over, word one on my signal. What word? Yeah. Word two. What word? Beautiful work. Word three. What word? Yeah. Word four. What word? Yeah. It's our beautiful reading, guys. I'm so much more engaged with the kids. I know exactly where every single one of my kids are at in literacy and numeracy because I do so much assessment. The data collection is fantastic. It's so easy to track and it's so nice because none of our kids get left behind. Next word. Based on the age level um, of the programs, there's different ways that the classroom needs to be set up. <clears throat> so in the early years, um, the students are in small groups for their literacy and numeracy instruction, and we put them in um, basically half circles. Um, and there's even certain places where you place the types of learners you have. So your low performers will obviously be right in front of you, um, and your high performers will be at the back to the, at the, back to the sides. Um, and that's just so that you can gain the attention as much attention as you can from your lower performers. For the big kids, they will probably be in their desks and you can still walk around the classroom. You don't have to do the script at the front of the classroom. You can walk and talk and just monitor, walk, talk, monitor. So we just like to make sure we're monitoring all the time. Everyone's tracking, everyone's on task. Let's keep moving forward. So we use an explicit instruction mode, so direct instruction EDI. So I do it, we do it, then you do it. So if I do it, the kids get to see it. We do it together. I'm still modeling it. Now go off and do it on your own. So we know that the kids have got it. My turn, three minus one equals two. Your turn, get it going. Word two, coats. What word? Coats. What word? The students get a real sense of achievement because nothing's, it's challenging but it's not too hard and it's never, it's always within their ability. They come to school and they really feel a sense of achievement and they, and they want to do the best they can because they know that they can do it. I love coming to school for the kids. Um, every time you walk into the classroom they give you a bright smile and give you a hug. Just seeing their teary faces when you come in the morning and they're like, Miss, can I help you set up the classroom? I'm like, sure, I'd love that help. We just love them. They are just the most beautiful, hilarious little people and they come from all different, you know, backgrounds and home lives and some of the home lives will break your heart and it just makes you want to work even harder for them. Mm -hmm.